no-touch knockout, a karate move that could theoretically revolutionize combat as we know it. No, 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 you've got to throw yourself up, up right? Go again, right? Ready? right. except that it can take years to learn. Essentially, he claims to be able to knock anyone out without touching any part of their body by just throwing a giant chi whammy at them. Being able to knock out an attacker without even touching them, <laughs> using energy to interfere with their nervous system. They'll get all kinds of neurological types of effects. Their body organs can shut off temporarily. They will feel like they've been hit by an electric bolt. <laughs> so today we're going to talk about fake martial arts. What is a fake martial art? What is a fake martial artist? Please! Sure enough, his students went down and our EMTs confirmed something funny was going on. All right, let's try to find, let's try to define what a fake martial art is. It's a guy that's a big guy, he's bad on the end of the street. But that's just the beginning. Dillman claims to have adapted this technique to where he can knock a person out without having to touch them. Use chi energy out of this hand. A fake martial artist, and I'm going to give you my impression, and you can feel free to leave your own. You're supposed to move. Sorry. <laughs> Going to effect up on the head of the third eye. Snap, couple. Back, back, back. Yeah! Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sorry. Every now and again, I'm just going to go. <laughs> yeah, it didn't. Anyway, never mind. <laughs> That's crazy. There we go. All of these karate techniques are made possible by manipulating chi. He makes a chi ball. He'll get the radio frequency going between the hands. And if you get up and feel, it's actually hotter inside that ball. I've seen him already knock people over with it. He throws the chi in such a way that when he catches it, it knocks him backwards. For Dillman, chi is like electrical <laughs> circuitry that he can turn on or off with a simple well-placed punch or even just a tap. So what is the difference between a fake martial artist and a real martial artist? Well, a fake martial artist is going to peddle this nonsense that chi and energy is going to work within a fight. Pressure point knockouts are the easiest way to put a person down. I can put the largest person that you can find in the world, and I've done this, with that finger. I can put him on the floor. I'm not ever too convinced about pain compliance martial arts, I've got to be honest, but I'm not going to say that it doesn't work and I don't want to disparage other people that teach that. But pain compliance where you're looking at wrist locks, uh, not wrist locks, sorry, because wrist locks do work, there's no doubt about that. Uh, pressure points, for example. Pressure points are something that I generally uh, would not advise in a real fight. The simple reason being is that in a real fight, most people are going to be energized, they're going to be angry, they're going to be aggressive, they're going to have adrenaline, they may even be drunk, they may be on drugs, depending on where you are in the world, there could be many factors to it. To go in and simply say you're going to apply a pressure point and you're going to press them, and this is the sort of nonsense I've seen in women's self-defense classes, you know, someone grabs you, grab you around the throat, and then they pinch here, and they pinch, and they pinch. You know, the only thing that's going to happen if you pinch a guy in that situation is you're going to turn him on. Right? Don't do it. <laughs> Don't do it at all. We enter the chi into pressure points that both accept chi or give off chi. Just gonna barely just, just tap them. Just I use ones to give off chi, put it into ones that accept chi. We, in essence, turn their light switches down. It kicks out their circuit breaker panel in the back. Pressure points can be dangerous. I've flatlined several people. So I thought I'd address this point. I teach simple strategies and concepts of how to defend yourself. These strategies are simple ideas. They're not the be all or end all. And I accept that in combat, <laughs> that you're gonna get hit. And I never say to anybody that's not the case. But we were still skeptical. And so were our paramedics, even with the scientific evidence. <laughs> to me, what a fake martial artist is, is when you've got someone that's training no touch 
for example. That's a classic one. This is a major problem within the martial art community. You get people believing that you can use these sort of mystical powers. And there are guys, you just do a YouTube search, you'll see it. I won't mention the channels, but you'll see quite a few little uh, videos of people doing this idea where they're touching. And yes, people have compliant uh, students in their videos that they touch them, bang. You all right? <laughs> he didn't expect that. Did you expect that? <laughs> no, he didn't expect it. So he asked Tom to try it on someone other than his students, like us. God, you're scared. Relax, I'm not going to hurt you. He refused to try the touchless knockout on me, okay. saying he thought I may get hurt. If you touch this... Instead, he used the light tap technique to affect my nervous system. Wait, you just hit me in the head. We were less That's, than stunned okay. by this stun guns demonstration, <laughs> so we had Tom try it again on jujitsu students at the Extreme Fitplex downtown. Feel any heat, feel any lightheadedness at all? Not really. And once again, yeah, I don't even feel it. You're moving on you. I got hit in the head a lot. The results were He's less than stunning. He's not going to go. Tom says only about 40% of people are susceptible to touchless knockouts, and natural athletes are the toughest. They learn to translate this energy so they, they don't get affected by it as much. Pinching, pressure pointing is not going to, in my opinion, dealing with very angry people at times, uh, is not going to work when you've got someone who's coming at you who really means you harm. So, best pressure point, bang! Bridge of the nose. Smack the guy in the bridge of the nose and smack it. Now don't argue with me and tell me that's not gonna work and that's a fake technique, because I know if I go in here and I smash him one on a bridge of the nose, that's enough of a pressure point to stop him, right? That's the difference between a fake martial artist and someone that's actually talking about something that actually can't be denied. A punch in the nose is gonna hurt. That's a pressure point. Another pressure point is windpipe. If I chop you bang on a strut into the, into the neck, and we've got to be careful about talking about this because this is YouTube and I don't want this video taken down, because it will be taken down, is that these sort of areas of striking and hitting may not be easy to access in a real fight where someone's really swinging coming at you, but it certainly doesn't mean that it's fake. What it means is, is that you've got to work harder to be able to do it. So fake martial arts, anything that involves something that's no touch, anything where someone's telling you that you're gonna get into a fight, the person's going to do A, B, and C, and you're therefore going to do, grab me, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, is really obviously giving you nonsense. But if someone's saying to you, look, you know what, this is a basic strategy, tie the arms up, take control of them, keep them occupied and strike them, what's so fake about that? Why is that so fake? At the end of the day, okay, it's a simple idea. If you want Nick to try and kill me, let's set up a, uh, let's set up a GoFundMe page. After seeing so many demonstrations, so many different techniques, so many different moves, you, you can't help but start believing. They're opening up another door in your mind. It's just unbelievable. Would you reckon? GoFundMe? Yeah, GoFundMe. Come yeah. fight me? Sound like good? Come find me. Yes. Come find me. <laughs> Comes a bit dodgy though. Isn't it? <laughs> it's like going a bit weird now. Fightme.com. <laughs> yeah, fightme.com. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for that. Fake martial arts versus no martial arts. Who cares? It's all about concepts. At the end of the day, you have to make it work. Thanks for watching.